Overcrowding has become a problem all over the Wabash Valley, and this has many facilities working to expand. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan explains how one jail has hit a financial roadblock as it tries to grow. A tax was passed back in 2019 to fund an expansion here at the Knox County Jail. However, since then, prices have gone up. The jail tax was a two-tenths of a cent increase on Knox County taxpayers. Over 20 years, the tax will raise $21 million for a jail expansion. Before the pandemic, this looked to fund most of the project. But as material prices increase, so has the project's price tag. The last uh, few weeks, uh, myself and Jail Commander Parrish have been working with the architects to uh, see what we need. And uh, from there, we got the numbers in. Now we have to go with what we can afford. Current plans call for a $31 million project. That's $10 million over budget. We've got, we know what we need, so we just have to cut from there. And yes, it, it's going to be, it's going to be some big uh, cuts on the building and work release building. That final price could lower as material costs decrease. But the jail project committee has to plan with what they've got. The group will meet later this week. A final decision on what to cut from the project is planned in the next couple of weeks. Don't do something now, someone else is gonna to have to, our children or grandchildren are gonna to have to take care of it down the road. So the tax is here, the opportunity is here. We're at, our, we're at our cap as far as holding inmates in here, so we have to do something. Sheriff Antlin says they still plan to begin the project at the beginning of next year. In Knox County, Gary Bryan, News 10.